Hello, I'm Ja. <laughs> Sorry. I seem to have flown the actual Minecraft game away there. Woo! I uh, just. Ah, oh, this came up. Godzilla is stomping into Minecraft. Time to meet the King of Monsters in the new Godzilla Adventure World by Team KYO and Impressi. Select the Godzilla film you fancy best. Play solo or with cool mementos from the movie. Movies. And don't forget to head to the dressing room. Free Godzilla t shirt! <gasps> All you have to say is items and I am there. Yeah, I I got instantly distracted. T shirt controller Jeebus. Does it go here and let's see? A free t shirt, or maybe it's like right out here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, get not gonna wear it probably anytime soon, but I like the clothing. Okay, last night. After you know, completing the Disco Elysium stream, I decided to look at go. Hey, let me make sure I keep to the racist, the fascist path, since I'm doing a fa fascist run this time around. I was like, I know I have to be racist, but you know, I just want to make sure of anything else. And I found a comment on a that just just made me lose even you know more faith in humanity because that's possible somehow and the comment was you know of course a game made by leftists wouldn't have anything nice to say about fascists and it's just like dude why should anyone say anything nice about, you know, fascists to begin with, you know? It's a horrible ideology that should not be celebrated in, you know, any way, shape, or form. So obviously some dude like, well, oh, this game's made by leftists, so they don't have anything to say. You know, that's like... <sighs> but let's get to the main meat of what I'm going to be talking about tonight. And that is a little health update for the few of you who are concerned about my health. And so I was able to get to the pulmologist today. And for those of you, is that just, okay, never mind. I thought that was hanging in the air. Yeah. For th those of you who don't know, pulmologist is a lung doctor. And that's where I go to, you know, get help for my asthma. And my asthma has been getting worse ever since COVID. Just not like my lungs were working perfectly before, but you know I had gotten you know ev my asthma under control. Um, COVID, that is not the case, and so. We went over medication. It turns out I had, you know, mistaken what medication was for what. And in my defense, I had three different asthma medication. 
one, I took two puffs of once a day, twice a day, sorry. And another, I took a, you know, puff after I took, you know, the twice a day one. So I've, so it would go along with the twice a day, that incubator inhaler. And then the third one was the was the backup inhaler. I believe I don't didn't have the backup inhaler anymore. But I got confused which one actually was the backup inhaler. But yeah. I'm going to be seeing about getting on the nebulizer, which is sort of, it's a, basically a machine to give you a lot of whatever inhaler you usually take. And it really does help with asthma attacks. I mean, the majority of the time when I have gone to the ER for my asthma, I've, you know, taken a nebulizer, and it is so good. Like everything just sort of clears up right away after that. I forgot to take this off. So I've basically a uh, request has been sent out to a company that deals with medical devices and you know ask asking them to give you know set up asking them if I can you know have a nebulizer please of course I'll have to deal with insurance which is lovely which is so great to deal with. I mean, oh my gosh, who wouldn't want to deal with insurance? Because the thing with insurance is... <sighs> Sorry if I'm doing the sign. That's actually one of my ways to yeah, get air back into my lungs. The great thing about insurance is... These people with no medical experience will be like, you know, I don't think you need that. Because they won't be going off of any type of medical advice. They'll be going off of, but that costs so much. Do we really have to? So, yeah. I hope I get the nebulizer. I should get the nebulizer. But it all depends on my insurance. Because insurance sucks. It's like, what's the point of insurance? They don't really provide you anything when you need it. But, you know, never mind. The well, final thing I'll say on that is... What was it, like, Saw 6 or Saw 7 that... That dealt with the, yeah, I think it was Saw 6, that dealt with a bunch of medical, uh, it, not medical, insurance people getting tormented. I was like, that's nice. I was like, I like that. Oh no, poor, me poor insurance people that sent many people off to their death. Oh no. <laughs> might not be that good person. I'm also going to be getting a CAT scan. 
And for the CAT scan, I'll need to get blood work. And I... And they didn't manage to tell me before I left, and so they called me, and I called the office back, and I got the answering machine of... So where do you do your, you know, blood work? And so... Hopefully that goes well. Because uh, you need the blood work. Before you can get the CAT scan. Yay! And the CAT scans, because they're... It's just a precaution. But they want to make sure there's no clotting in my lungs. So, yeah. Well, that's prob- there's probably no clotting. Like, 9 out of 10 chance, there's no clotting. But they just want to make sure. I guess one of the things with COVID is there's been some clotting in the lungs. <laughs> so, yay, I did not know that. I get- Having all these medical issues, you learn a lot about the medical field and shite. I mean, not... Not usually things that makes it easier to sleep at night, but you know. You learn things. So, yeah. So that's the lovely medical update so far. So hopefully soon, my lung function will be back to normal. And I'm one of those people that's a workaholic. That sort of distracts myself from life by, you know, just doing various projects. When I don't have the ability to distract myself, yeah, I can really observe reality, and it's not nice. I don't like reality. Fudge reality. Let's see, is there anything else here? I guess we don't know. Oh shit, I don't know why I pressed that. Yeah. A simple jump, and I was like, let's make this a thousand times more complicated. Nice old dolphin over there. Uh, Danny does not like that Jor is not paying attention to her. Really going to need to get him off his eggs. Oh, I got 64. Okay. Mm -hmm. How you doing?
let's put some things away and build somewhere in the nexus. Usually I like to... That's not a boot. This is a boot. Boot time. <laughs> Usually I like to... No. Get a little more wood before building more of the nexus, but that seems... But, you know, I want to continue working on the Nexus every night, and I just can't do that every night, because I don't exactly stream the same amount every night, sometimes less, sometimes more. And I wanted to stream today, even though it was a little late. Oh, because... Well, I, I wanted to update about the medical stuff. Tell everyone what's going on. Not to worry. Just can't wait till my breathing gets back to normal. Because it's. Besides not being able to be my usual workaholic self, I. It's painful to breathe. Sometimes it's like I can't get a full gulp of air in. It's like sometimes I feel too weak when I'm coughing, like the cough, like I really have to push that cough out. So yeah, I just can't wait for everything to get resolved. Ducko's parked. Because if I have more than one Ducko working with me on the Nexus, it's just really annoying. I can't really get much of anything done. with me. Okay. I'm trying to work on a little semi wall thing with the uh, poisonous berries. Just so when everything you know all the everything is fully see well poisonous. I just don't want 
you know, people, you know, going where they're not supposed to go. But I don't want to build walls and really take away from the scenery either. there hopefully in theory also to keep the mushrooms at the moment from going where they're really not supposed to go One thing about, you know, the breathing difficulties is I become more tired. I feel like taking a lot more naps. So it's like even if I get a nice fully rested night asleep, 
like maybe around four or five in the afternoon, I get tired again. Today I felt tight around the time I was wanting to stream Stardew Valley, which I did do today. Yeah, it's just like, should I take a nap? Should I not? It's like, no, I really want to play Stardew. Luckily, it is one of my no commentary streams. So I didn't really have to talk. And talking uses air. I do want to get back to see movies in the theater again. But I also prefer the safety of my own home right now. Just because if I feel like taking a nap, if I'm at home, I can just randomly take a nap. Whereas if I'm in the movie theater, I can't. You saw nothing. The thought has crossed my mind once or twice about what if my lungs don't hold up in time? Well, which is a very worrying thought and it's, I'm trying not to get worried about it because then I'll probably start breathing harder and that will not help situations. Like, at all. This is such a big project. But if I go to creative, guess what? Can no longer earn achievements. And we have do done a lot. You know, on survival peaceful. don't want to throw away all of that. can do all of this without being on creative mode and it's, it is supposed to be a little bit of a challenge.
on survival peaceful because I wanted the challenge. Can't back down now. Look at all I've done on survival peaceful. Can't wait till we get back to Shorm Grove. Oh, it's like I built myself my own little piece of home here in this vast world. It's endless, but there's always going to be a place for me to return to. I will say. One thing I really wish was on Bedrock Edition was the ability to have, I guess, a teleport places I could just teleport. So going back to Shorn Grove wouldn't be a big journey. It would just be, ah, I teleport. Got all the wolves there. Aww. Thank you. Okay, let's look for a good place to end the stream. Okay, I want to make sure the wolfos don't decide to jump. Oh, they're jumping, aren't they? Oh, well. <laughs> okay. To everyone that watched tonight's stream, thank you so, so much, you. And viewers like you are honestly what keeps me back streaming day after day, night after night, etc. after etc. after etc. <laughs> yeah, she's really going all at it. Danny, our youngest cockatiel, is really going all out and making singing noises and going, woo woo! <laughs> and if you would like to contact me outside, outside of Twitch and or help support me, links in the about section. These are links to places such as Twitter, where we can talk about all things Minecraft and all things about my birds because they're my little babies and I will talk night and day about them. And the links also include play include my Patreon. So if you know you're you really like my stuff, you know, consider donating today and becoming a patron. And the Patreon helps support not only these streams. The books I'm writing, every odd thing I'm doing on my blog. It helps give, you know, Danny nom noms. And Danny is adorable. <laughs> and let's find a random channel to raid. Going on Twitter and looking for the hashtag Twitch streamers. I'm looking at the latest posts. Help the streamer out. What's this? Oh, can't really tell what that one is, so I'm just gonna pass it. There's
Let's see if this... Doesn't look like this person's currently streaming, but, you know, we'll check just in case. Oh, they are! Okay, they're playing, um, uh, the use... User is Crimson Network, and they're playing a Warhammer 40,000 game. So, yeah, if that interests you, you know, check them out. Yeah, Danny really wants you to check them out. <laughs> Guess she's a big fan. <laughs> okay. So... This is, we have reached the end of the stream, and I'm going to have to say goodbye for the night, and hopefully we will see each other again very shortly. Bye for now.